We gonna make grandma cinnamon rolls, but we ain't gonna use yeast. And I'm gonna show you right now. Let's get it. First thing we're gonna do is add some flour to the bowl. Y'all know back in the day, anytime you see flour, you're gonna see some sugar. Add a little bit of sugar. Add you a little pinch of salt. And then last but not least, we're gonna add a little bit of baking powder. Let's go ahead and toss this around. We're gonna add some butter. Make sure it's cold. You can do the whole stick. So we're gonna cut the butter in a square. We're gonna cut it in little squares and then you're gonna drop it in the bowl. You can use a fork, you can use a presser. Me, I'm gonna use a glove and I'm gonna get in here and press the flour and the butter together. You see that right there? Y'all see that? Equal parts crummy. Now we're gonna add some whole milk. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit under a cup. Add that to the bowl and then mix it up. Oh my God, that rang. So I'm kneading the dough, do this for a minute or so. Let's sit this to the side and work on our filling. To a bowl, we're gonna add some brown sugar, a little bit of white sugar, gotta have some cinnamon. Put about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna mix it up, get you some melted butter, and then you're gonna add that to your cinnamon mixture. You need to flour your surface, just put a little bit down, and then roll your dough out. Here's our rectangle. We did a good job. So we're gonna take our cinnamon, and then you wanna place it all over your Dough. And now you just roll it up, guys. Put your cinnamon rolls inside of a baking dish. And then you can put it on 350 for about 30 minutes, or you could do 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. So we're gonna do some icing. We're gonna do half a block of room temp cream cheese. We need room temp butter, about two tablespoons. Let's go ahead and mix that together. If it ain't room temp, it's gonna be hard to mix it, I'm telling you now. We need to sweeten this up, so we're gonna do about two cups of powdered sugar. After about two minutes of mixing, your icing should look like this. Look at that right there. Perfect icing. Take one of our cinnamon rolls, place some icing on top. Mm. Perfecto. Mm. Look at the inside of that right there. Stop playing with us. Oh. If you don't wanna do all the flour, the salt, the baking powder, and all that stuff, go ahead and use self-rising flour, use some milk, create the dough and do everything else we did. The recipe in the same spot, right next to the follow button. And you better share this to your friend. But we got homemade cinnamon rolls without yeast for the win.